Hey everybody, it's Craig Beckett here, and in this video, I'm going to show you a quick way to change the color of clothing in Photoshop. All right, let's get started. All right, so here we are looking at the background layer. Quick keyboard shortcut, we're going to create a duplicate layer. Command J on the Mac, Control J on the PC. Another way to do it too is if you just right click over it. So just right click over the background and look for duplicate layer. If you click on that, then that will create a duplicate layer. You can also name it. So quick ways to create a duplicate layer. So you're working on the duplicate copy and not the original. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come down here, get the little circular shape here, look for hue and saturation. So now we have the hue and saturation. If you come up here, right by master, you can see here, click and drag into image to modify saturation hue. Click on that. And then we want to take a sample of the dress right here. So we're going to take a sample and you can see here it isolated it to these colors. Now what we want to do is just change the hue of the dress for starters. So if I go to the right, you'll see it change from purple. You could see now we've got a red dress and we could sort of see where it's done the selection. Not the greatest right there for red, but if we go to blue, I find it looks really good as a blue dress, but you can see here, we can alter the hue and saturation. And because these colors aren't in the skin tones or in the background or in the hair, it makes it relatively easy to do. Now, if we wanted to take the saturation of the dress down, for example, if we thought it was too saturated, we could do that. Or we could oversaturate the dress. There's a lot of things we could do once we have this selection. Also too, we can adjust the lightness. So you can see here, I could take it down and make it less light or we could make it even lighter if we wanted to. So I think it looks pretty good the way it is. It looks pretty authentic. Now, if this bled into other areas, what you could do is create a mask, um, but then it would be a little bit more complicated. So obviously this works better depending on what you're working with. But anyway, that's a quick way. Let me just show you really quick again how I did that. So I'm just going to close this. I'm going to delete that layer. I'm going to click on down here, the little circle shape. I'm going to click here. I'm going to say hue saturation. Then right here under preset, we click there. We choose a selection of the dress color. And then we take the hue slider and you can just go either direction till you find the color that you want to change it to. So you can see here, some of these colors don't work as well as others. Definitely not the green, but I find the purple to the blue. It's a nice transition. It seems to work well and I can click on and off so you can see before and after. So, this is the before we had a purple dress and then this is the after and we have a blue dress. So it's that quick. All right. Thanks for watching this video. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Also give me a thumbs up, hit that like button for me and share this video on the web, share it on Facebook, Twitter, photography groups, forums, wherever you want. Anyway, thanks again. This is Craig Beckter here and I'll see you in the next video.